Hello YouTube. So this is a very quick video because I have seen a spring of live streaming all over the social media, uh, but just a few of them had a decent audio quality. So for this reason, I'm just gonna uh, give you um, an overview of the stuff I use, hardware and software, and how you can actually live stream with at least audio like a pro. Um, so the software I use, and I'm sure there are other options on the market. So the software I used are most of the time, um, so OBS is free, uh, while instead loopback is, um, is something that you're gonna have to pay for. Uh, I don't remember the cost right now, but I will put that in the description. So the very cool thing about loopback is that even if you're using a MIDI controller, or let's say you wanna you wanna make a live stream uh, recording uh, your mix on Tractor, for example, um, and um, but you also wanna play on with Ableton on top of that, so you can do that with Loopback. So it's a very simple uh, software where basically you can select the uh, any audio input that you want to. Um, then you want to put into the main output channel. Uh, in my case, I usually uh, like to play in Ableton Live, uh, putting some live elements on my DJ sets who will come from Tractor. If I would play something on Tractor, for example, what, what's going to happen? Now, I don't have any MIDI controller connected right now, but even if I would, the coolest thing about this is that you can use directly the main output of Tractor from a sort of software way, software way and and drive it into the output channel. But you can still use, uh, for example, the pre-listening of your uh, MIDI controller. Uh, so you can mix exactly as you would mix in any normal uh, setup. So as you can see here, I don't have any anything connected at the moment, uh, but I can basically select loopback as an audio device. So what this will make is that if I play any track in here, sorry, computer is taking a while, okay. So if I put any track in here and I play it, you will see here into the loopback that there is some out, output. So there is an input from Tractor which is going to the channel. And here you can define the monitor you want to use. Now I have connected my audio card, so I, I want to listen from here. But if I want to listen, for example, from my MacBook, I can do that. And actually, I can do that from multiple um, for multiple uh, monitors. So now in this case, I'm just going to take out this one. Um, a cool, a, a other cool thing is that you can also add a microphone, uh, but you can do that and you can make your microphone stereo, uh, basically connecting the mono channel to channel one and uh, channel left and right of the main output. Um, and then if I would, for example, open Ableton Live, what will happen? is that uh, also the sound coming from live will sort of mix into the output channel. So let's say I put any instrument here. Uh, just wanna you know, put something just to make you listen. What I'm talking about, I'm just gonna put this string guitar here. And if I play this, what you will happen, what will happen here is that this signal from Ableton Live is going directly into the output channels and uh, then to my monitor. Um, so basically now we're sorted out the audio channel and we can mix multiple uh, sources into the main output channel of uh, loopback. Now the second step will be 
using OBS. And OBS is the software which is gonna allow you to live stream on uh, the, your favorite platform. Um, so this is, uh, this is the uh, interface of OBS. And as you can see, I can select um, uh, the, what is the uh, video device input that I wanna use and the audio device input that I wanna use. Now, I already created here a scene, but uh, let's make uh, something from completely from scratch. Let's call it um, tutorial, um, tutorial audio live streaming. And here I will define the sources that I wanna use for this live stream. So in this case, I, will, I wanna use the uh, webcam, for example. So that will be a video capture device. Um, let's call it webcam and uh, webcam two, just so I have already a webcam here. Webcam two, and then here you can define a device. In this case, I just only have the camera of my MacBook Pro connected, so we use this one, and here we go. We have the input. Here you can define also the resolution you wanna use. Um, and just say okay then you can resize that's great so if i would make a live stream now uh, i would come out with this but the only audio you can see here now is the microphone which anyway is not selected into the sources so what i want to use what i want to do i want to use as audio the audio of my um the audio of my um look back which i said before so i'm gonna say audio in input capture and i will define a new audio input capture which capture which i will call audio test audio tutorial and uh here we go here i can select look back audio and now as you can see here the loopback audio, which is a stereo signal, is showing the levels of the music which is going on. Um, so from now on, you just need to define what is your uh, the settings for the live streaming, and you can define here in the settings. You can define the service you want to use. There is uh, some uh, sort of uh, standard setup uh, you can use. Uh, let's say that you want to use uh, um, Facebook Live. And here you're going to have to put the stream key link. How you're going to know this is uh, basically going to Facebook. And uh, when you do that, you want to make a live video in diretta live live streaming oops sorry live streaming you get this panel up and here you need to select use keys for the streaming and here you're gonna have this key that you can copy and paste into your assist into your obs here okay then if you do okay and if you start stream you will see now i'm not gonna start streaming right now but you can see that here we show up inside facebook the live streaming i'm doing and this live streaming will have the audio coming straight from uh, the softwares so with no uh, you know uh, you're not gonna lose any quality uh, you don't have to record the sound from the microphone uh, which will result in a very poor quality and that's it it's done so actually pretty easy uh, and this is adaptable to a number um, of situation uh, including live instruments uh, and uh, anything else you want to use um, just if you have more questions uh, please put it in the comment and i will try to answer to you um, so that you can uh, adapt this method to your own uh, home setup uh, to live stream.